Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Das Big Hippo, and today we're going to be continuing our adventures in Elden Ring. Uh, you know, we just unlocked the map for this area last time. But then I remembered, we didn't actually finish over here yet. There are at least two bosses that I haven't went and messed with at all. So we should probably go do that, huh? So, let's go ahead and go start with uh, the Crucible Knight. I, I believe it was the first episode that I said, we'll come back to it. And then I almost forgot to come back to it. So let's go ahead and go do that, God damn it! Pushing the wrong button for run, cause I'm a stupid head. Alright, so, the thing about Crucible Knight is... Not Crucible Knight, but Tree Set. Um... You don't want to fight him on the horse. Uh, the horse, unironically, makes it substantially harder. I don't actually know if he has a crit point. I've never been able to find one. Not that. There we go. We got that bleed proc, homie. Eat my ass, motherfucker. Shit. Alright, there we go. Simple, straightforward. At least now when we're this high of a level. He would've... We, he would've forcibly eaten our ass last time, but... Alright, and there's the Golden Halberd. Which, uh, to my knowledge, is still one of the strongest weapons in the game. I used it my first playthrough, not because of how strong it was. I actually didn't know at the time that it was one of the best weapons in the game. I used it because I was a strength faith build and halberds are some of my favorite weapons in existence of anything ever. I just, I love pole arms and pole axes and all that shit are so cool in my opinion. So did I get carried my first playthrough? Kinda. Did I intend to get carried my first playthrough? No. Do I regret my first playthrough? Kinda. <laughs> no, honestly, it, it was a good time. And, you know, I just use what you find fun. Don't, don't listen to anybody else. Don't let them tell you, hey, you can't play like that. Just do what you want to. Have fun with the game. It's, it's your game, goddammit. Now, while I'm sitting here rambling, I'm trying to figure out how to get down to the lake here so we can fight the dragon, and I keep forgetting how to get down there. So I'm just gonna fast travel. Where dragon? Where he at? Oh my god. Alright, so now the dragon here. This one, I would say, go ahead and stay on your horse for. And then you just eat his toes. What? Oh, don't know how that didn't hit me, but I'll take it. And this attack is why I would say stay on the horse. Anything that has to do with fire breath or anything like that is an absolute bitch to try to dodge without being on the horse. Now he's up there doing weird acrobatics and shit, and I don't think I can hit him very well. Well, he got down. This is my first recording after setting up a compressor, and I really hope it's working well. I'm trying to balance audio when I'm so inconsistent with my volume is a bitch and a half. God damn it. Come on, get up. We gotta heal. Like 
that attack right there. If it wasn't for the horse, I probably would have fucking died there. Ate some massive shit. Get down from there, you bitch. Get the fuck down from there! Ow. Son of a bitch. There you go, come down. What, what the fuck are you doing, you son? Goddamn lizard. Get the fuck down! <sighs> Jump! Alright, cool. He's despawning. That's cool. Alright, so now we can actually continue the fight. Luckily, when this happens, his health does not reset. Yeah, can you imagine if the health reset after the enemy ran away? serious? I just killed a dragon. And you're gonna be a little bitch? I fucking hate these things. These little assholes are so fucking annoying. Come at me, booch. Gotcha, bitch. Yay, stone sword key. Let's -a go. Oh. Mm. Bad Poochie. Poochie an asshole. There we go. Yo, that rat fucking Oh my god. Holy hell. These rats are godlike. Yeah, so, back in uh, Dark Souls 1, rats would drop humanity. Very weird, but they did it. And in this one, they have a chance to drop rune arcs, which are essentially this game's version of humanity. I find that to be an interesting little detail that really didn't, you know, I, I still don't understand why they do it, but they do it. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. And, oh, uh, God fucking... Four playthroughs, you would think I would know this. Ah, oh, God, we're in hell. Welcome to hell, boys. Hopefully I don't lose these fucking 12,000 souls. Okay, um... Let's see, the... Ah, oh, God. 
this way. God damn it. Luckily, I'm higher level than you normally would be when you first get trapped in here, so I can take a hit a bit better. Still makes this place a bit scary, though. So let's just try to get out of here. our stuff. I don't actually know what all I have, but... Alright. And level up. Yeah, yeah boy. Oh, fuck my ass. Which way is the closest on fire. Fuck you, big man. Ah, there we go. Here we have a dev message. Alright, now we can teleport out of here and continue our adventure proper. Alright, I think that's every major thing done over here. So now we can continue up this way. God fucking Ah no Alright, does he have anything? Let's go ahead and grab that. I don't know if it's actually worthwhile, but Alright now before I do if you actually do shit here, I'm going to get the rest of the map fragments for this general vicinity. There's three total, so I'm gonna do that and probably just cut out everything while I do it unless something actually happens. Alright, there we go. All three map fragments. As you can see, this area is fucking massive. And since it's all technically part of Liernia or however the hell it's pronounced, I like to get all the map fragments before I actually do anything. Also, as you can see, I did stop and get three of the Sites of Grace on the way, but that's all I did. I didn't do any boss fights, any dungeons. I tried to avoid picking up items, and just combat in general I tried to avoid. Just so I could actually have it for uh, content. Alright, so first thing on our list is to go down this way. There is a cave over here. I'm hoping to start doing some more blind content, like I do uh, with LEGO Star Wars. Because, yeah, I've played through this a bunch. i played through almost all of Tiny Tina's on my own. And I'm still having fun, but I would like to have some just, you know, blind stuff. Genuine new reactions and all that. Not to say that some of my reactions aren't genuine here. You know, like when I got sucked into hell just a little bit ago, and I just fucking forgot about it. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Poison. Fuck. That's another thing. Uh, I don't remember what these caves are for the most part, so there's probably going to be some genuine reaction there too. This motherfucker. These two assholes sit here and shoot at you while you have to make a jump so you're gonna get hit in midair and fall to your fucking poison doom. Assholes. Do 
I have any? No, I don't. Oh, I can make a couple. Might as well do that. <sighs> yeah, I'm still playing Kingdoms of Amalur off, off of a uh, recording, so I'm still going to be hitting A to jump and or A to interact when I shouldn't. Son of a bitch. Put the shield away. And there I go hitting A to run, because that's what it is in Kingdoms of Amalur. Which, for anyone that hasn't played that, I would highly recommend doing so. It's it's one of the best Fable games out there. Um, I'd probably say, you know, Fable 2, then Kingdoms of Amalur. Fuck. But yeah, it's a really good Fable-type game. And if anybody that likes Fable wants to play something like it, I, I would highly recommend checking it out. Uh, it's less goofy than Fable is, and it's a more serious tone, which might be kind of uh, something that you're against if you're going into Fable with the, the goofiness in mind. But it's, it's a real good game. Big ass game too. Current playthrough I think is at around 35 hours, and I don't even have half the map explored. I feel like dealing with you guys. I just want to avoid getting poisoned. I know the boss fight of the dungeon is close. I'd, I'd rather not be poisoned for it. Thank you very much. I'll probably get poisoned in the boss room, but yeah, I don't know. All right. Come at me, you bitch. Oh, nope. You. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Fuck. Shit. I think my weapon might be, uh, kind of lacking in the upgrades department. Should probably go look into that a bit more. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Well, no Scarlet Rod. God. Cocksucker. You cocksucking calling motherfucker. I don't have any Scarlet Rock clear. Another one. A oh, motherfucker. I never get this unlucky with this fight. Oh, 
come, you punk bitch. There we go. And there's the winged sword insignia. I don't actually remember what that one does. But I'm poisoned and scarlet rotted, so that's that's fun. We'll take a look at that when we're uh, not on the verge of death, shall we? There we go. Let's go ahead and clear those status effects. Unequip the torch while I'm thinking about it. Alright, so what does the winged... The winged bitch insignia do? That's right. Very good for fast weapons. Other than that, it's kind of meh. Even then, I don't actually know if it's very good for fast weapons. It's pretty much only good for fast weapons, though. Alright, so next on our li Oh shit, I just hit the mic. My bad. Anyway, as, as I was about to say before I inter rudely interrupted myself. Uh, next up on our list of things is... Right around here, it looks like. So, uh, people have been giving FromSoft a lot of shit about asset reuse in this. Uh, from previous games. Little do they know, that's what FromSoftware does. Uh, this is not the first time it has happened by a long shot, and it's not the last time it's going to happen. Uh, fun fact, for anybody that is unaware, the Vanguard Demon from Demon Souls is literally ripped from Enchanted Arms. Uh, I believe Enchanted Arms, it was called D-Band, I think? D-E-B-A-N-D? Something like that, I believe. Yeah, it's, it's literally... Uh, a, a thing from Enchanted Arms, and... You know, it, you just... It's what they do, and it's what they do well. I mean, why fix what's not broke, you know what I'm saying? I... I as long as the asset reuse is done in a way to where it still feels like a new game, I'm okay with it. Now, if you try to just flip me the same game, then yeah, that's that that's a problem. Wraith Calling Bell. I don't actually know what that does. Oh, okay. It's probably what those guys outside are using. That thing right there. Fuck these. Fuck everything about these. These dudes are the scariest enemies in the entire game. And honestly, I fucking despise everything about them. Like, they're fast, they hit hard, they can teleport. They fucking... They can teleport and, like, land on top of you. They do... Just absurd amounts of hits done. When I've played without a shield, it made me want to kill myself while fighting one of these dudes. 
halten. There we go. Yeah, so those guys can just eat the fattest cock out there. Don't mind if I do! So now I'm mine. Alright, next up on our quest is right around here. I believe up here we meet an old friend again. There he is, the lad himself, Mr. Patches. The most lovable asshole you'll ever meet. Oh well, it, it's been a long while. It's me, Patches the Untethered. I'm still in business, if you can believe it. Now I'm my only supplier, so I haven't got much. But everything here is top notch. Patches Emporium, now open in Rea Lucaria. That's right, this is Lucaria. The first area is Liernia, I believe. No, it's Limgrave. What the fuck is Liernia? Oh, I don't know. Alright, so his shop. You can actually meet him earlier if you go back to the cave where you first found him at. And you can get that for the Margit fight. Never used it, because I always forget to ever go talk to him before I deal with Margit. So I don't actually know how useful it is. By the way, uh, have you met that girl, Raya? She's a strange one, but I believe she was in need of help. Not that it's any of my business, but if she rings your bell, why not lend her an ear? You're making your way to the Erd Tree, no? Well, uh, I heard something that might help. A special means of reaching your destination. Have you ever seen an Iron Virgin? The clunky contraptions are whirlwinds. Shit. Spiked wheels. Heard of Iron Giant, but damn. They were endowed with a spell of transposition. And get this. A surviving virgin sits at the bottom of the big water wheel in the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Its transpositional powers fully intact. So right. If you get caught in it on purpose, it'll chuck you out straight at the base of the Erd Tree. So I'm told. <laughs> oh yeah, great story. There's a survivor. Nice. Right, so that's just going over that again. Cheers for that. All right. So let's go ahead and God damn it, let's go ahead and set it to night time because there is another nighttime exclusive boss right around here. Got ourselves another bird. So I've had tidy demon. What's up, fucker? God damn it. I forgot my own rule against these guys. Do not lock onto their head. It will just lead to suffering. Does so much damage. straightforward fight. Hmm. 
And there's the feathered branch sword, which I believe is the red tear stone ring in the game. I could be wrong on that one. Let's go ahead and heal up, get our flasks back, and go ahead and take a look. I think it's the red tear stone ring equivalent. Yeah. Uh, I don't know the exact specifics, but I can't imagine it's very good, because Red Tear Stone Ring, after the first game, I believe, was nerfed into the ground. So, yeah. Uh, okay. Now, now that we've killed the big-ass scarab bird, let's go head over to this area, right here. So, tentacle rape. Hey, girl. Over here. Hello. My mistress oh. sent me off on an errand, but I was accosted by a ruffian. And now I'm in a bind. Could I ask you lend a hand? Perhaps. That thug made off with a precious necklace. I need someone to retrieve it. Only... He, too, is tarnished. If you've any qualms confronting your own... I shall find another. I'll go fuck him up. Oh, thank you dearly. What a blessing that we've met like this. The thug should be resting at an abandoned home down the way. Please, I must have the necklace back. The thug should be ready. All right, let's go ahead and go get that necklace. Now, fun fact about this. I could not find this fucking thing on my first playthrough. Right. It... It was baffling to me. I had to look this shit up. It's marked on the fucking map right here. How I didn't see that and go, Hey, let's go check that area. That's actually a thing on the goddamn map. I don't know. As I've said multiple times, I'm a fucking idiot. So let's go get that necklace back, shall we? And there he is, the thuggish ruffian himself. What are you looking at? You trying to start something, mate? worth to you and I'll consider parting ways with it I'm not in love with it or nothing you're a shrewd one chief first you hand me the runes and don't try nothing neither all right so you can either buy this from him for a thousand runes or you can kill him and take it uh he is a shop after you finish this and he is also part of a quest line that if you want to do the quest line or get the shop items, I would recommend not killing him. I don't know if I'm going to do either, but still, it's only a thousand runes. It's not hard to get back. Mm, all right. Take it. Things no damn use to anyone anyway. Your bloody idea, mate. Don't come crying to me later. Oh, pig. Oh, I see. You want some of me prawn? Freshly cooked it is. All right then. It's yours. If you can meet me price, I could be persuaded to sell you some other bits too. If you've got the runes. Oh. So you met the girl, did you? All right, well. Sort the particulars of the matter. But it ain't my fault she's stupid enough to get duped, is it? Anyway, she ain't all right, that one. Lucky she ain't died on the bloody roadside, I reckon. Alright, so yeah, he sells prawn, which gives you a physical damage reduction for a time. And he sells unlimited of them, I believe. So that's pretty cool. I've never used them. I don't know how good it is. It might be a very small amount. I don't know. 
But anyway, we have that necklace. Let's go give it back to her, shall we? I going the right way? No, I'm not. Holy shit. God, is my view distance turned down or something? I don't remember popping like this happening very often. It seems like every time I boot this game up to record something, something stupid happens. Oh, well. Oh, well. Here you go. The thug should be resting, please. Oh, yes. That is my missing necklace. Thank you kindly. I am in your debt. Did I forget to announce myself? I am Raya, in the service of Lady Tanith of the Volcano Manor. I seek stalwart tarnished, who might join our house. You are very brave yourself. Not only a steady hand, but a steady heart. Merciless, even to your own kind. I don't know if it's a merciless. Is precisely what my mistress seeks. I fucking paid the guy like Please, I do. Take this. Brave tarnished. Seek the Altus Plateau, the realm of the Erd Tree. Most tarnished are doomed to wander the outskirts of the lands between, peering wistfully at the towering Erd Tree. But you are no ordinary tarnished. And once that is proven, the Volcano Manor will fully extend its invitation to fight amongst a family of champions. Oh, and one more thing, only for you. She this land of Liernia is connected to the Altus Plateau by the Grand Lift of Dectus beyond the high road but the lift has been defunct for an age meaning there's no simple means of passage instead you must seek the old ruins in the cliff at the base of the valley near the grand lift there's an old tunnel it was excavated from both ends linking Liernia to the Altus plateau I have faith in you a champion through and through. I do hope that we can meet again. Alright, so I was right. It is Liernia. Okay. Well. Alright, so next up. Uh, realistically, you can stop at all of these. There's usually an item in them. So let's go ahead and head over this way to this one. Alright, so this one has a grace in it. And I don't... I think there's... Yeah, there's not an item in this one. Well, that's fine. I wanted to go back to, uh... Goddamn. The round table and upgrade my weapon a bit more if I can. Now, those eyes of a challenger who's felled her mark. Find them well. Now lay out your arms. God, I just realized I haven't actually been back here since I killed Godric. She's crestfallen and can scarcely swing a blade. But she has a gift for spirit tuning. Tuning. Another one like her long ago. Their eyes share the same hue. Oh yeah, I can upgrade that. There we go. Greetings. Nice to see you again. My name is Roderica. I should have told you sooner. Isn't this place impressive though? The round table hold. Covert quarters of the two fingers and gathering place of champions who vie to become Elden Lord. I never knew the guidance bestowed upon us Tarnish had such fantastic roots, although it's all a bit much for me, in truth. I'm still looking for my own purpose. You're telling me I possess 
some kind of gift? I don't believe you. But if I do have this talent, and goodness knows it would be my first, I suppose I should try to hone it, shouldn't I? I'll ask Master Hugh to teach me. Certainly he does appear intimidating and holds no love for us tarnished. But I know he's trapped here at the round table hold. So I can tell. He's a gentle soul underneath it all. If I do have a talent for spirit, I suppose I should try to hone it. I'll ask my... Alright, god damn it. I just want to... just want to reset the world. Alright, so now... Oh no, she doesn't move yet. Okay, yeah, that's right. I actually have to leave. So now this door should also be opened. And behold... What is that? The two fingers. Holy fuck is it unsettling. Are you that new tarnished? Sure. You've done well. I am Enya, the finger reader. I interpret the words of the fingers, envoys to the greater will. Look there. The fingers tremble to welcome you, Shardbearer. Let their wisdom wash over you, great Elden Ring. Root of the Golden Order, anchor of all lands, giver of grace, wellspring of all joy. Until it was shattered, the tragic corruption of the Order has taken its toll. Across the realm, life lies in ruin, fallen to pieces. Foul curses and misery spread, unabating. But the greater will has not abandoned the realm, nor the life that inhabits it. So it is that the tarnished are guided by grace, called to act. Brave tarnished, your great rune is a handsome shard of the Elden Ring. Seek another of its kind to become an Elden Lord and restore the Golden Order. Let the words of the fingers guide you. Well, well, I see. A remembrance of gold has found its way into your possession. Demigods and even the crater of the champions are hewn by the earth tree upon their end into remembrances. They are valuable indeed. These remembrances yet house the power of their former masters. And should you wish to wield that same power, well, I will lend you the strength of the fingers. Oh, do not recoil from my offer. The fingers guide us all. And you, tarnished, you are here to take, are you not? Ah, great runes are the stuff of demigods. The children of the goddess, Queen Marika. She Marika. is the vessel of the Elden Ring. Tainted by the strength of their runes, her children warred, but none could become Elden Lord. And so grace was extended to your kind, the tarnished. Listen, the fingers speak. The greater will has long renounced the demigods. Tarnished, show no mercy. Have their heads, take all they have left. Indeed. But remember one thing. 
The demigods are each and all the direct offspring of Queen Marika. Godric the Grafted was but a distant relation, the runt of the litter. His divine blood sorely diluted. Ah, great the children of the goddess tainted by Anzulis. The great okay. Okay. Yeah, 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 you don't have to repeat it, god damn it. I know I asked you, but... Alright, so anyway, here we have uh, the boss soul weapons. You know, you get a great axe and you get a fist weapon for uh, Godric here. I believe the great axe is actually considered one of the better great axes in the game, and I don't really know much about the fist weapon. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Now go forth. Let the words of the fingers guide you. Yay! Finger blast me, Mr. Fingers. Huh? Alright. Fuck. Well, it's actually about time to call this episode, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, yeah, I didn't really do a whole lot, I'd say. You know, we just kind of walked around, killed a couple of the bosses, but that's about it. Um, so with that, you know, if you stumbled across the video and watched the end, I just want to say I genuinely appreciate that. I'm not out here to try to make a living off of YouTube. I'm just uh, trying to bring a little joy to someone's day or, you know, just a little smile or whatever, really. But with that, yeah, go ahead and end it here and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.